Hey guys, this is Rusty78609. I'm at Ruidoso, New Mexico at the Convention Center. And there's going to be a motorcycle rally starting today. Uh, it'll run through Sunday, and uh, it looks like they've got a hell of a crowd. The area that's straight ahead, they have some, uh, that's the registration area. And then back over here, uh, this is where all the vendors are. There's a lot of shirts and merchandise for sale. And I just happened to run into a couple of gentlemen here. <laughs> that are going to participate in the rally. Uh, what kind of bike do you have? I have a V-Star. Say again? Yamaha V-Star. Yamaha V-Star, what is that, 1,500 cc? Probably 900. I probably have one of the smaller bikes here. OK. Like Just you? Yeah. Okay. My wife will come up later. And where are you from? Alamogordo. Alamogordo. And you are? I'm Richard Armstrong. I drive a 2004 Electric Glide. It's a Harley. From, from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay. How, uh, what what actually happens at, at a at a rally? What what do you what do you do? I mean, what what's the? They give us a, a set of destinations, and we go and pick up playing cards and for a poker run, and we just get together and basically just kind of fellowship with each other, and just get a group of guys together and ride and just enjoy the nature. Okay. Well, there's no there's no real race to it. There's no time. No, no race to it. It's, how, how many miles will you cover in the three-day period, you think? Uh, probably close to 200. Okay. And how many gallons of gas do you, does your bike carry? Two gallons. And you get about 40 miles to the gallon, you think? 50. Is yours about the same? No, I've got a four-and-a-half gallon tank, and I get about 35. 35 miles a gallon? It, does the mountainous terrain incur? Is that's that's probably exciting, huh? It, it, it don't it don't affect your mileage. <laughs> well, it's not dangerous, is what you're telling me, right? Well, it can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Sometimes we get drivers who get drinking and driving, and it's very dangerous. There. Really? We do have uh, accidents during well, the rallies, so you is have it, to be careful. Is it because just the sheer number of riders all heading in a similar direction, or? Uh, it's more for the accident part, it's just driver error. Okay. Well, the weather looks like it's going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah. You, you guys are extremely lucky on the weather here. Well, anyway, thank you, Richard. Richard. And? Uh, Squirrel. S Squirrel, okay. That's your road name, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, thank you much. I'm going to walk around and uh, finish up the video. But, yeah, guys, so you get an overview now of what goes on at a at a rally, you know, they, they do a poker run is where you go to different places and pick up a playing card from a deck of cards, and whoever has the best hand at the end of the rally, whenever they collect the cards, is the winner. What kind of prizes do they have? Uh, I think this year it's going to be a, a bike. A bike? Whoa. Last year was a bike. The year before, I think, was a trip. Well, how much? How much is a bike? Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty-eight thousand. How much is a Harley fat boy? $32. Jesus Christ. You don't ride a Harley, though, do you? Yes. You do ride a Harley. What, what? I've got a Harley, and I've got a big dog. Uh, I'm on the Harley. And, uh, that bike brand new was $36. Wow. How long have you been biking, so to speak? Since I was... 14. <laughs> yeah, about you, Squirrel. Long time. Long time, huh? Well, I had a rice burner, what they called it back when. I had a Honda Shadow 1100 shaft drive. Yeah, and I remember they made fun of me. They, they still, they, some of them still do when they see me. There's that guy that had that rice burner. Anyway. Thank you. Hey, thank you all guys a lot. No Appreciate it. And, uh, but anyway, I'm just going to do a shot of this right here. This is where all the vendors are located. And, uh, as you can see, there's a ton of merchandise. It's not officially 10 o'clock, so you can't go through this door till exactly 10 o'clock. Uh, but you can see that there's a lot of merchandise related to motorcycle riding, etc. And with that in mind, I'll go outside now and finish up. So anyway, guys, let's move out. How you doing? Actually, I'm doing a video. Okay, here we go. This is the entrance to the event right here. This is the official rally merchandise over on the left-hand side, and I think there's a sign-in. Well, no, the sign-in is actually further behind me. The registration and entry is, uh, there's a sign right down there, if you can see it. You go to the left, and there's a 
place in there to sign in. I got my little armband. I'm good to go. And here, I'll show you the official merchandise. Here's one here. It's called Aspen Cash Motorcycle Rally, Ruidoso, New Mexico. Here's a hoodie, same thing. T-shirt, Aspen Cash Motorcycle Rally 2018. T-shirts are 20 bucks. Hoodies are 35. So if you're interested, come get you one, or 10. And now we go out the side. There's a big sign. You can't miss the restrooms, that's for sure. <laughs> how you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Are you riding in the rally? No. You're not? I just came for the t-shirt. <laughs> how you doing, sir? Anyway, we'll go outside now. You're going to see a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, I went off and left my sunglasses. Did it? No, it didn't. Okay, straight ahead, Rusty. You're good. Anyway, they got a lot of bikes out here. How you doing, Thank you. Senor? Thank you. Sure. Uh, they got a lot of bikes out here. It's a beautiful day. That's a golf course. See, we're, this is the convention center, and this is actually a public golf course. You can come out here and play anytime you want to. And we're going to look at some motorcycles now. They got tons of them. I mean, tons of them. And the price on them apparently range up, up upwards of over $30,000. So you know what I mean, guys? So feast your eyes on tons of motorcycles. And I'll just kind of walk around here and let you see. Isn't that beautiful, all that chrome and stuff? Man, that's tough, isn't it? I got an armband somewhere. I gotta put my armband. Sorry about that, but I gotta pull my armband up so they can see it. Got a lot of motorcycles under here. A lot of low-priced units. I'm sure. How you doing, senor? Hello. You selling these motorcycles? I say, are you selling these motorcycles today? Yes, sir. In other words, if a man walked in with fifty thousand dollars cash, you'd make him a home, huh? Yes, sir. What's the price range on on some of these? That's hard to say anywhere probably from, from $7,500 to $30,000. Really? Are, are, all these, are all these new? No, used. These are all used, okay. None of them are new, they're all used. They're is, is, uh, is your business here in, in Rodoso? No, El Paso, Texas. So you brought all these up from El Paso? Yes, sir. That's a hell of a job, man. Oh, yeah, a lot of work. What, what, do you bring them on a flatbed or something? Flatbed, a bunch of flatbeds. I got you. How many units do you think you've got here? Oh, about 70. Whoa, that's a job. 70. 70 units here, used units. They all look brand new to me. Oh, uh, they're not though. Some are real clean, 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 clean. Right? Yeah, they are. You know, people buy a bike and then they don't keep it long, you know? Yeah. Because they find out it's not their thing. Because, you know, you got to know what you're doing, man. You really do. But anyway, what is your name of your business? I'll give you a plug. Barnett Hardy Davidson. Say again? Barnett Harley Davidson. Okay. Uh, th this, this gentleman right here is with Barnett Harley Davidson out of El Paso, Texas. He's the sales manager. Name is George. So if you're looking for a new or used. Uh, I got used up here, but we got new back in El Paso. Okay. So you got new or used uh, uh, motorcycles, I guess mostly Harley Davidson? Yes, sir. But they're all used up here. That, I can't sell new up here. Oh, okay. So all the units here at the motorcycle rally in Rio Doso are used. And uh, but at the dealership in El Paso, they have new and used. So if you want to and you're looking for a bike, we'll check with George at uh, Bar Barnett Harley Davidson in El Paso. Yes, Very good. Come up here. We're at the rally up here until Sunday afternoon. Yeah, but come on in if you're looking for a used bike and talk to George. He'd be glad to work with you and get you in one of these units right here. Anyway, thank you very much, thank George. You. Enjoy your day, and I hope you sell out. What, what, what do you, what, you're at the radio station? Actually, I'm doing a YouTube video. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's just, uh, uh, I have a YouTube channel, and it, I do a variety of things. One of the things I do is try to show some local events. Oh, that's great. You know, and, and this is a local event that attracts a few, maybe a thousand or two, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and a lot of people don't know about motorcycles, okay? That's true. And they particularly don't know about... Uh, rallies, what goes on, you know, for example, a poker run, you know, what is that? Yeah. A lot of fun. Everything's fun. Yeah, it is. I mean, everybody I've talked to has been real friendly. And uh, yeah, and, and see, motorcyclists typically back in the 60s and 70s kind of had a bad rep for reputation for, you know, being the evil Knievels like Hell's Angels and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that's not that's not true. That's a small percentage of bikers today, I promise that's right. you. right. Small percentage. Yeah. A lot of retired folks. A lot of retired people are riding bikes. Oh, yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of people. A lot more women are riding, too. 
That's for sure. I see them all the time. Yep. Yeah. Well, anyway, George, I'm going to move on. Thank I, you, sir. On the way out, I'll take a picture of some of your okay, bikes. You betcha. Thank you so much. You bet. Good, folks. If you're looking for a used unit, here's one right here. Here's a Harley Davidson Electra Glide Ultra Classic, 2014, 17,499. Look at that. I mean, that looks. Look at that home on wheels right here. Not a bad price, and it's very clean, so check with George here. Anyway, we're going to go on here through. And uh, yeah, there's not many people here on bikes right now. I think it's a little early in the day. I wonder what that noise is. Well, you know, if you have a Harley Davidson and it doesn't make a lot of noise, you got to take it back. Yeah. You know? How are you, sir? Pretty good. How are you doing? You in the rally? You going to be riding? No, I will work in the rally. You're a vendor? Yeah. What are you vending? Custom seats. How much are custom seats? Depends on the bike. And how how, about, a, how about a Harley Electra Glide? Uh, the seat with gel, front and rear with gel starts at five and a half. Five hundred, five thousand? Five fifty. Five hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's, That's not redoing bad. redoing your seat. Yeah, I hear you. I like your glasses, then, by the way. Then if we, uh, we do the tour pack to match it, runs it up a little more if you do a bunch of designs it runs up a bunch more yeah where, where are you where are you from originally or Farming, where are you from? farmington new mexico farmington new mexico most everybody here is from new mexico but it's really a beautiful day man well yeah. if the wind don't come up it'll be great well that's typical of new mexico isn't it the wind it's been that way every spring since i've been here i've been <laughs> here since 71 i hear you well, thank you for you taking your time man all right, here we go, guys. Got a lot of wind here today. He's right about that. But I've got on my super mic. Maybe that'll work. Let's see what we got here. These look like something I need to check out. Okay, here we have Baja mobiles of some kind. Let's see what we got here. This is a this is a Maverick X3 RS. You ever seen a Maverick X3 RS? Well, you're looking at one right now. Let's look at the inside. Look at this. Look at the shocks. Can you see all that? <laughs> all right. This is the inside. Got a speedometer and stuff. Got a lot of loud music. It's like some kind of bucket seat, safety seat. How are you doing? Are you selling these? You are? Good. You can tell me about it. My name's Rusty. I'm doing a video. And uh, so uh, what? He'd be, more, he'd be the first one to do that. Okay. Oh, he would? Okay. I'll, get, I'll catch it. Are these named Can Ams? Yes, sir. All right. These are named Can Ams, guys. That's the number one issue we see with all these. People tear up their belts. And it's usually self inflicted. Because they don't know when the hell to use what. If I can get his attention. Then. Are you you're the salesman for all this stuff? Yes, sir. How, how much did this, this sell for right here? This can? That one with all those accessories is about 42000 Whoa, 42. Is it, is it four wheel drive? All four wheel drive, huh? What? Well charged 172 horsepower. 172 horsepower? Yo. I mean, I see these things out in the desert. You okay? I've never been, I have never been this close to one. No, and this one's got the roof and all the speakers and it's got subwoofers under it. <laughs> a, music, a music machine? I hear you. Well, what's that over there? Is that the same thing, the green one, the lime green? Yeah, just it only holds two people instead of this one holds four. How, how that much, one's got more of a work bed in the back. How much would one like that be? I want to say that one's about 17. 17,000? Mm -hmm. And what kind of engine's in them? What kind of engine do they have? This has a Rotax motor. The, the Havoc there. Uh, no problem. You guys enjoy your trip. Uh, it has a Textron. Textron builds it. They're, they're their own motors. They build their okay, own I just motors. want, how, how big is the motor itself? That one's like 957 cc's, I think. Okay. Just okay. short of one liter. I got you. Okay. Yeah, you mind if I just kind of walk around? No, here? you go right ahead. Yeah. Look okay. Get them all. Yeah. Is this your card? Yes, sir. Get one of your cards. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a plug. This is Lost Crucius Guns? Oh, well, we sell. Uh, we sell those too. Here, let me get you a better one. Okay. Well, they got guns in Las Cruces. He's getting me a better card. Here we go. We have four stores. Okay, got four. It's called Motorsports of New Mexico. And what is your name? Yes, sir. Chats. Okay, here's Chats right there. So you can put a face with a name, okay? 
Yes, sir. So he's the guy you need to call, and you're out of which one of these? Actually, I work between all four. Okay, he works at all four stores, and how do you, what is, how do you spell your name? C-H-A-N-C-E. Chance. Okay, yes, Chance. Sir. Okay, Chance works for Motorsports of New Mexico. They got one in Las Lunas, White Sands, Las Cruces, and Santa, Santa Teresa. Teresa. Yep. And so check them out, man. If you're in, if you're into, if you're into off-roading stuff, you got to check with these guys, man. I mean, Thank look, you. Yeah, no kidding. Look at this stuff you got, man. I mean, that's 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 fascinating, you know. I mean, you know, th this is a hobby. It's a little pricey, but I see people doing it. They do it by the hundreds, yeah. They do it. But be that as it may, Chance, thank you for your courtesy. I'll take a, do a little few more video here. And, no and, problem. Uh, thank you. Good luck. I hope you sell out. Thank you. Okay, this is the one that was like 17 thou, okay? These things are not cheap. But anyway, having said that, let me get back up a little bit. Maybe get a better look at it. The lighting is not perfect, obviously. But... Uh, Anyway, you got a again. You got a speedometer. You got the you kind of band, fancy seats, cup holder, and all that stuff. You got a roll bar, of course, all around your cage. And uh, then they got a they got a deal here. This is a a, a, a this is M A H I N D R A Mahindra Roxor R O X O R off road. It's a Jeep. It looks like a little Jeep to me. But it's here's the website you can check this thing out rocksoroffroad.com and it looks like a jeep it looks like actually it just looks like an old jeep you know, it's got the same same look get over here and give you a good picture of it and uh, there it is right there I don't know how much this one is it doesn't have a price but it just looks like a, the old army jeep what it looks like and then there's some guys over here doing donuts on their motorcycles going round and round. And I'm going to head that way because I'm parked that direction. And then I'll end the video. But anyway, for you guys, hey, look at this guy. i got to check him out. He looks like he knows what he's doing. Let's go check this guy out. Let him put on a show for me. Yeah, these guys, these guys are good. Okay, let's go check this out. Oh, now they're going to stop, probably. I mean, they are doing popping wheelies like crazy, man. That is too cool. Let me get over here. They're probably going to stop just about the time I get there. Maybe not. Video's probably going to be a little bit shaky. Look at that. He did a flip off that bike. Get out of here, dog. He's on to that shit, isn't he? I mean, they ride these bikes like there's nothing there, you know? How long is that? I told you, they, just about the time I got here, they'd stop, right? Yeah, they were popping wheelies and doing donuts and all kind of stuff, and then I get here and they stop. Whole different deal. Five minutes and 47 seconds. Anyway, apparently, it, you know, they've got it kind of cardened off here with these barriers. Which is pretty smart, I guess. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Fascinating. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, this is Rusty78609 saying, uh, well, let's see, if you're interested in riding motorcycles, come here and check this rally out. This is the Aspen Rally in Ruidoso, New Mexico, starting today. This is the convention center in Ruidoso. So come to the convention center and check it out, okay? And this is the golf course, public golf course, right next to the convention center. So having said that, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything your little heart desires. And use the Amazon link to Amazon products in the description of my video. Why? Because I get a small commission that doesn't cost you one penny. Okay? And what else? Drink plenty of water. Uh, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, relieve stress, and all that stuff. And here comes a few bikes in. There's some people already parked over there. You might be able to see them pretty good. But yeah, there's bikes coming in now. They're starting to come in. And uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind, okay? Don't let negative stuff in your head. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get in your head. There's an old dude there that's riding a bike. 
but this is the convention center right straight ahead. You just go through the door and check it out. I imagine they'll be coming in all day long. That parking lot, was, there, was very, there was two or three there when I got here, and in a matter of minutes, it's filled up to about 50 or 75 uh, cycles, so it's picking up good. But anyway, adios amigos from Rudoso, New Mexico. Enjoy your life one day at a time. Bye-bye.